Today we're going to take a look at the trailer idler hub assembly for 2,000 pound easy lube axles. This one has the 4 on 4 inch bolt pattern. Now this trailer hub assembly fits the easy lube idler axles. Now the easy lube axles are the ones that have the grease zerk fitting on the end of the spindle that allow you to grease the bearings without having to remove the complete hub assembly. Comes with this easy lube compatible grease cap which when installed there it'll make your lubricating your bearings very fast and easy because all you have to do on an easy lube axle pop out that rubber plug there's your zerk fitting just pump put your grease gun on that zerk fitting and you can pump grease in there to maintain your bearings there's no need to disassemble the whole hub when you're greasing the bearings with the easy lube you can just put the grease right in through that zerk fitting <clears throat> now this idler hub assembly will include everything shown here it also includes the bearing races which are pre-installed the outer bearing race right there is installed in the hub and the inner bearing race right there is installed comes with both the inner and outer bearing, the grease seal, the grease cap with that rubber plug, the easy lube grease cap with the rubber plug, and then four half inch lug nuts. Now this hub is a sturdy iron construction, has a nice zinc and rich paint finish over it. Now this is certified by US SAE standards and CSA, which are the Canadian standards. Again, the specs on this, the application is for 2,000 pound easy lube trailer axles with the BT8 spindles. It is compatible with axles from most manufacturers, including Dexter, Lippert, and Alco. Again, the bolt pattern this is a 4 on 4 inch bolt pattern. Weight capacity is 1,000 pounds per hub, so when you use this with one on the other side of your axle, it'll get you your 2,000 pound maximum. <clears throat> now on the parts that are included, this hub does use both the same bearing for the inner and the outer. It's part number L44643 that has an inner diameter of 1 inch. So on the inner bearing, you can see it will fit right into that bearing race like that. Use your grease seal, has an overall diameter of 1.983. Put that like that and you tap that all in to secure that in the back. And then your outer bearing, which again is the same part number, L44643, has the one inch inner diameter. That would go on the outer bearing race just like that. And then you take your zinc plated easy lube grease cap with the rubber plug tap that right into place just like that. Now this grease cap does have a flange diameter of 1.99 inches. Now for this video I'm showing you where the parts go but when you do install this initially you do want to make sure the bearings are packed heavily with grease and then install them like that. You don't want to put them in without grease. Now once they're installed from the first time then when you have your easy uh, on an easy lube axle you can access it and maintain it by pumping grease through that zerk fitting on the easy lube axle to maintain it. Now it also comes with the four half inch by 20 size lug nuts. The lug nuts are used to hold your wheel and tire assembly to the hub. So once you get your wheel up on these studs, go ahead and put your lug nuts on and just go ahead and tighten them down and torque them to the specs for your application. But that should do it for the review of the trailer idler hub assembly for 2,000 pound easy lube axles. And this one is a four on four inch bolt pattern.